Hello and welcome to Earth Science ESC 1000. This is the online course and I am your instructor, Dave Cacciarella. I'm over here in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, uh, but I just want to go over uh, the main page, the home page of our class on Blackboard and give you an idea of the things that you need to know what to do to be able to move through this online class. Again, it is 100% online. Everything you're going to do, you're going to do right here in Blackboard which is going to be viewing your lectures. Of course, reading the textbook is going to be from your textbook, not from Blackboard, but your assessments, your homeworks, uh, and also the quizzes and the exams, whether the midterm or the final will all be taken uh, out of Blackboard. So there's some things you need to know. The first thing that we're going to see uh, when we open this up, when you open your home page, it's going to start at the Start Here page. And essentially, if you read through this, it's largely the same thing I'm going to tell you right now. But what I want to ask you to do is the very first thing is go to uh, your syllabus. So I'm going to go ahead and mark the syllabus here. So get started. We have the Start Here tab, which is what you see right now. The Announcements tab, which there are no announcements, but when announcements are made, they're going to show up there. Now, in about a week or so, I'm going to flip this around. So announcements are the first thing that you see. Underneath Announcements is the Course Content. And then underneath the Course Content tab, we have the syllabus. So let me go ahead and open the syllabus for you. And I've got one open already, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this over. And uh, that's what your syllabus looks like. So pretty standard stuff on your syllabus. Uh, this is an online class, uh, first day of class, the drop refund deadline. If you want to get out of the class and get a full deadline, you need to do that by the 19th. No show reporting, withdrawal deadline. You can't withdraw after the 1st of April and the final exam. The final exam, again, is going to be done on Blackboard. And that is going to be something that you have to do. If you don't hit the final exam, you can't pass a class. That's a Valencia policy. So that's going to be a very important date. Uh, the other thing that we're going to see, uh, well, lots of things in the, um, in the syllabus, but I want to take you down into the course format, 100% online, total of 320 uh, uh, points from 12 homework assignments. I'm going to go ahead and underline that. You have 12 weekly homework assignments worth 10 points each. There's going to be two quizzes worth 25 points each. Uh, there's going to be a midterm exam worth 50 points. And there's going to be a final exam that's going to be worth 100 points. And uh, pretty standard grading on this. You're going to see, uh, you know, 90 to 100% is an A, 80 to 89% is a B, uh, and then 70 to 79% is going to be a C. Makeup policy. Valencia has a standard makeup policy. You can see that online. Uh, if you meet the criteria, you can make up the final exam. Uh, otherwise, you have to take it by the 29th. Uh, and then the other thing is at the very end of this syllabus is the class schedule uh, and the assignments for the spring of 2016. So we are in week one. So your assignments for this week are chapter one from the textbook and then a chapter one lecture. Next week, it's going to be Chapter 2 from the textbook and Chapter 2 lecture. And then Week 3, the 23rd of January through the 29th, Chapter 3 uh, in the textbook and the Chapter 3 lecture. And you can see over the right, under Assessments, is also going to be Quiz 1. So each week, you're going to do a homework. Each week that you have a chapter to read, you'll do a homework. And then you can have a quiz on the, uh, due on the 29th of January, a midterm due on the 26th of February, and then uh, Spring Break. And then another quiz due on the 25th of March, and the final exam is due on the um, 29th of April, as I said. So the first thing I want you to do is to open up uh, the syllabus and uh, look through it, and that can answer most of your questions. All right. Underneath syllabus over here, I'm going to go ahead and put this little guy on again. Weekly assignments. This is where you're going to be doing 99% of your work in this class is under the weekly assignments. So you click on that. Uh, it brings it up pretty much just like what you see in your syllabus, week one, week two, week three. And uh, you would just basically go to the week that you're in, click on it. And within that week, there is the Earth Science Lecture. If you click on that, it's going to open the PowerPoint. I'm going to go ahead and do that. This may take a couple of seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and push that out to the side. It's going to begin to... Yeah, all right. So I'm going to go back to weekly assignments while that's working on that. So the PowerPoint's going to open in a couple seconds. I'm going to pull it over and show it to you. But also you can see uh, homework one. So it is due by Friday night at 11.59. The homework is going to be 10 questions, multiple choice, taken from a question pool for chapter one. You can do the homework as often as you like. You can do it multiple times. Now Blackboard is going to save your highest grade. You can start it. You can stop it. You can go back to it. Um, you can do it a whole bunch of different times. And the best study guide for your quizzes, your midterm, and your final exam would be to do the homework multiple times because your quiz and your exam questions will be drawn from the same 
question pools, and so that will prep you for it. So uh, in any given week, you're going to either see uh, you can see lectures, you're going to see homework. Let's go to a different week, go back to weekly assignments, and if we go down to three, you can see that there is going to be uh, a lecture, a homework, there's your quiz, there's an extra little video on, uh, on comets and asteroids, extra little video here on the formation of the solar system, so some extra content for you to see, uh, and that will help you with this class. Going back to these lectures, I'll go back to week one, and we were looking for, we opened up Earth Science Lecture Chapter 1. So let me pull that over, and that's what this looks like. So it really depends on how you want to to uh, do your, your PowerPoints, uh, view your PowerPoint. Most people do it like this. You can start this and play it, and it will play the audio for you. Or, and what may be best, is you can go through each individual uh, slide and then go down here to the right hand side and click on the audio button and start playing it and uh, that's a narrated slides so it's basically a lecture and if you do it one slide at a time that's going to give you the opportunity to go back and forth and uh, and take notes now you may want to consider printing the powerpoints themselves without the pictures and just doing black and white and taking notes that you take right on uh, the powerpoint uh, uh, pages themselves. That may be the best way for you to take uh, take notes on that. Alright, we're going to close that out. And so weekly assignments, uh, you can see if we go down to week 7, that's your midterm exam. Week 9 is spring break, have fun. Uh, week 11 is going to be your number 2, quiz 2, and then your final exam week is the 16th, uh, week 16, April 23rd to the 29th, and that final exam is due on April 29th. And you do have to take the final exam. So those are your weekly assignments. Looking at uh, discussions, we may use discussions. Well, you can use discussions to discuss stuff with your classmates or with me. We may use the discussion to do some extra credit at some point. So you need to watch for that in the announcements. There are study guides. That's the next tab down. I'm going to have mark that for you. There's the study guides. Uh, that's the next tab down. There are your discussions. We already were in weekly assignments. Um, but the study guides are going to be uh, chapters 1 through 4, 5 through 8, 9 through 13. And again, they're they're excellent study guides but your best bet for study guides is going to be actually just uh, doing those homework assignments all right if you want to email me if you want to email a classmate if you want to get some tutoring help and uh, last but not least I want to point out the um, student feedback on instruction at some point in this course this is going to open up it's your opportunity to give feedback on the class and on me um, and then right below that is a link that says send proof of um, student feedback on instruction that'll give you the instructions on how to send proof that you took the student feedback on instructions because if you do take the student feedback on instructions uh, assessment um, no grade of course but just give your opinion uh, then you'll get some extra credit points and you'll see more about that uh, later on in the course so as always, if you have any questions, all you need to do is email me, and you can email me anytime, or you can also use the discussion boards. You can ask questions on homework questions or even uh, exam and test questions if you need. I'm always going to be available. And I'm also available Mondays and Wednesdays at 11.15 office hours in uh, room 107. Let me know you're coming. That'll be your best bet. All right. Good luck with the course.